I cannot see, but I can hear the world around me. Meet Brian. He's known as the world's best totally blind mountain biker. When I was younger, I had functional vision and I played sports. I had dreams of becoming a professional athlete. And then suddenly, when he was 14, he completely lost his sight over the course of three months. His optic nerves inexplicably failed and all he could see was darkness. He wasn't able to bike ride or participate in the sports he once enjoyed. I couldn't play hockey. I had to stop rollerblading, couldn't read the classroom board anymore. My world had shrunk. He had to find a new way to navigate the world. He found his cane limiting. But when he learned to make a tongue click, his world changed again for the better. And it wasn't long until he ventured back outdoors. I really missed bike riding and I really wanted to be active. I just didn't know how to do it. As a blind rider, it was a goal for me to get off the tandem and have the experience of being able to pilot my own bike. It all starts with a zip tie. A sighted person would attach it to their frame and angle it into the bike wheel. The bike wheel would make noise and a sound to follow while we would still actively click. Eventually, Brian was able to mountain bike alone and without the zip tie. When I'm riding my bike down a mountain, it's the same thing bats are using, echolocation. I can make my active sonar signal by making a tongue click. I start off with trying to find the object furthest in the distance and then piece the world together with things closer and closer. Brian has to enter an almost meditative state and remain extremely focused. Everything has to leave my brain and those sounds are painting a picture in my head, a vivid world of acoustic images. He didn't keep his passion to himself though. He's helped teach over thousands of people to hear their world a little bigger. This is a teachable thing. Anybody can do this, and I'm happy to show them. Riding my bike was something I never thought I'd be able to do again. And now that I'm doing it, it serves as a great example to challenge preconceived ideas. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Thousand Hand Bodhisattva Dance. Pretty cool, huh? One would think that a performance this difficult and precise would require all five senses. Well, think again, because all these dancers can't hear the music, making this performance even cooler. Founded in 1987, the China Disabled People's Performing Art Troupe performs eloquent dances, plays, and operas. The music is performed by the visually impaired, and the dance numbers are performed by those hard of hearing. The Thousand Hand Bodhisattva Dance is the troupe's most popular performance. It was also one of the most difficult dances for them to learn. And that's where Shang Tian comes in. She and other instructors use sign language to help conduct the dancers. I'm they also realized that spending time together off stage would not only enhance their friendship, but their performance on stage as well. In Bing's case, he and other musicians developed their own technique for playing without being able to see. 
、呃，我们其实也是有一些呃，除了反复的练习之外，还有一些自己的小技巧，比如说，呃，会有一些气口，我们会有一些相互的呼吸，啊、呃，再比如说在某个乐句之间，我们会呃让大家让听众。观众不知不觉的时候，我们会有某个声部做一个搭桥，啊，还有一些奥运的相关活动，比如说我们每年都会去美国，啊，还有德国、法国呀这些等等的国家。我们艺术团，呃，今年刚刚访问了呃世界的第一百个国家。我觉得就是嗯、呃，在我们嗯、呃、参加演出的过程中。啊，能够通过我们的节目，啊，通过我们的音乐，啊，能给别的残疾人，包括一些别的，嗯，对生活比较没有信心的人，能够给他们带去一些信心，或者是带去一些光明，带去一些希望。Pájaros para mí es escuchar sus sonidos. Hay aves que tienen sonidos muy bonitos, que sabes que tienen sonidos muy simples. Yo creo que al ser ciego、eh, disfruto las aves de otra forma. El sonido de las aves para mí es la forma con la que tengo de apreciar este mundo. Mi nombre es Juan Pablo Culazo y hace 14 años que registro los sonidos de la naturaleza. Yo soy ciego de nacimiento. Lo único que puedo ver son luces. Mi mundo son sonidos. Es todo todo el tipo de información que recibo en primer lugar、eh, sonora. Ver los pájaros para mí es escuchar sus sonidos. Para mí un pájaro cantando cuando escucho su sonido, en, en, a mi entender yo ya lo estoy viendo. Con los ojos no me no me hace falta, no me haría falta verlos. Para mí el sonido de las aves es música. El sonido del ventebeo tiene sus notas musicales bien establecidas. El hornero tiene un canto muy muy estridente, se puede escuchar a grandes distancias. ¿No? Después tenés el tero con su sonido muy famoso que es tero 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 todo el tiempo. Uno de los cantos más melódicos que podemos tener en Uruguay, que es el zorzal. El zorzal tiene un silbar que trae mucha paz. La importancia de registrar las aves es justamente la conservación. En el trabajo que realizo de captar y registrar los sonidos de las aves es también parte de, de nuestro patrimonio natural. que lamentablemente el ser humano lo, lo está destruyendo. Entonces, para mí grabar cada sonido en un lugar distinto, bueno, es como tener un registro, es como tener un pedacito de aquel lugar en, en un archivo de audio. Football is the most popular sport in Sierra Leone, and in the city of Freetown, there is one very special team. Meet the Flying Stars. My name is Mohamed Lapia. I play for Salon Flying Star and Petit Football Club. I play the attacking role. Mohamed grew up playing football. But when he was only 10 years old, he stepped on a landmine and had to have his right leg amputated. And unfortunately, Mohammed isn't alone. The Saloon Flying Star Amputee Football Team now well affected amputee player the Susu Didi. Every member of the Flying Stars has lost limbs as a result of the violence that occurred during the civil war in Sierra Leone. But 
The players don't let their injuries stop them from getting into the game. Because who they play, they were really rough. Them coaches there, they jump. They were really rough. Then they play with one foot, one leg. My name is Baitawali. I mean, the coach for the Flying Star Amputee Football Club. Presently, I'm a free toy. Uh, 30 players here. Eh? 8, 9, 10. Now? Well, really, we will be train full time. We go. We will train throughout the week. We go. Hey, stay. Well, really, we can, we can train. We get a cone there, we can put. We get some strength dribble there, we do. We get less short, uh, short run and uh, do that, and short kick, long kick. Penalty shootout. I will see like same thing normal like how they able to do. Play on. Change, change. Evan. Not only is it a competitive sport, it is helping them cope with their injuries and overcome the stigma that's associated with the disabled. You know this dis discrimination on this, on this country who offend himself. We need to do something with the make. We forget about the problem. And what better way than football? I like football, especially the amputee football. Don't change my life. They don't make an illegal street for good big. Don't give me a word of courage. Not, not only me, they come to play at them.